Welcome to the Tax Talk. My name is Oinlala Sale, and I'm your host. Here on the show, we recognize the fact that information is key. That's why we set out weekly to educate you on the moving parts and components of the tax system in Lagos State. As we do every week, we take business news first. This is business news. The Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajini Sawulu, has earned the commendation of the World Bank for the strategic use of taxpayers' fund as critical instrument in the state transformation over the past five years. Highlighting his effective use of taxation as a pivotal tool in the transformation of the state, the multilateral institutions said the state had not only been implementing programs targeted at improving the quality of life for residents, but had also progressed in upgrading infrastructure to improve the socio-economic situation in the state. The commendation came from the World Bank's country director in Nigeria, Mr. Ndiami Diop, who led the institution's top executive team on a courtesy visit to Governor Sonwulu at the State House in Marina. The World Bank chief particularly acknowledged the reforms being implemented by the Sonwulu administration and the transportation sector, which has expanded multimodal transportation capability in Lagos. He said the delivery of intercity rail infrastructure and investment in waterways had positioned the state economy to be better than before. They are pitched collaboration with the state government in the areas where the state had been experiencing gaps, pledging funding support to improve operational efficiency. Responding, Somulu welcome partnership with the multilateral institution, noting that Lagos requires strategic support to boost capacity in the transportation sector. The governor said the state had invested heavily in providing modern transportation infrastructure or said the government had started to move towards service that would reduce reliance on fossil fuel. Under Somulu's leadership, the state has witnessed significant infrastructural development, enhanced public services and improved urban management, all of which have greatly contributed to the quality of life for its residents. Central to this achievement is the governor's innovative approach to taxation. By expanding the tax base and ensuring efficient tax collection, the Sonwulu administration has been able to mobilize essential resources for development projects. This strategic fiscal policy has allowed Lagos State to invest in critical areas such as transportation, healthcare, and education, ultimately fostering sustainable growth. Governor Sonwulu's commitment to transparency and accountability in tax administration has also been instrumental in building public trust and encouraging compliance among taxpayers. That's it on Business News. I guarantee that you won't regret staying tuned. It's time for the big story. Today's topic is tax reforms. What is in it for taxpayers? This particular topic should pique your interest. So please stay with us and let's explore together. This is the big story. Over the past two decades, Lagos State has become a beacon of success in Nigeria's quest for tax reform. This vibrant state, the economic hub of the nation, has witnessed a remarkable transformation in tax revenue generation. 
driven by a series of strategic reforms. But what has been the secret to the Lagos success story? How did the state manage to widen its tax net, improve compliance, and leverage technology to become Nigeria's tax powerhouse? The journey began with a clear vision to establish an effective and efficient tax administration system that would cater to the rapidly growing population and expanding economy of Lagos State. The Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS, has been at the heart of this transformation. Through a combination of modern technology, constant reveal of tax laws, and strategic staffing, LIRS has created a tax system that is not only functional but also highly productive. The tax reform in the states includes legislation, administration, and judiciary. Now we are having a new revenue court that will now to superintend over litigation between taxpayers and tax authority and vice versa so that people and the tax authority can have easy access to justice. And within a minimum number of weeks, months, case will be resolved and each party will know their, what to call, their rights, responsibilities, and liabilities. With regards to uh, legislation, the personal income tax is the, legisl is the legislation of the National Assembly is an act of the federal government of Nigeria. However, the state, by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has allowed the state to collect this tax. So the Lagos Internal Inland Revenue Service, come Lagos State Government, will come up with a regulation that will make tax recovery, tax collection, and tax administration seamless and more easy for people to do. When you look at the tax reforms in Lagos State, it has assisted us in ensuring that we achieve the goal of revenue, increase in revenue generation, and at the same time, increase in the level of what, uh, compliance. Now, uh, specifically, reforms assisted us in increasing our revenue. We started in 2006 with about 600 million, but presently we are making between 70 and 80 billion every month. So that is uh, due to what? The reforms that has been put in place. Again, it also assisted us in increasing the level of compliance. You see, when people have been aware that, okay, I have to pay tax, this has to be done, and the payment of tax has to be done within this period, and so on. So the level of compliance also became very high as a result of the reforms. Then uh, we also have reduction in the number of defaulters, those people that are not ready to pay their taxes. So the number keep reducing on daily basis as a result of our of a, well, I mean, the tax awareness programs being embarked on upon by LRS and uh, other agencies uh, in town. One of the most significant achievements of Lagos State tax reforms has been the expansion of a tax net. 8,610 companies were registered between January and December 2023, while over 2.9 million individuals were registered within that same time frame. This growth has been driven by efforts to include individuals and businesses in the informal and semi-formal sectors. This previously undertaxed segment now accounts for approximately 60% of new taxpayers. To ensure compliance, LIRS has employed a comprehensive strategy that includes taxpayer education campaigns, stakeholder engagement, and a stronger enforcement regime. This effort have seen compliance rates rise from 45% in 2006 to over 75% in 2023, showcasing the effectiveness of these measures. There will be more of the enlightenment. And I could see in uh, some of our TV stations, tax and the law, tax and people, but more should be done. Now going to the grassroots to ensure we take the tax um, education and enlightenment to the local governments. Even our traditional rulers will not be out of place to engage them, to educate the citizen within their community, to ensure that payment of tax is not only what we refer to as legal requirement, 
but social responsibility and a moral one that each and every working adult earning income, earning profit, must pay tax. And they should take it as their own social responsibility to the state. We also have reduction in the number of defaulters, those people that are not ready to pay their taxes. So the number keep reducing on a daily basis as a result of our of a, well, I mean, the tax awareness programs being embarked upon, upon by LRS and uh, other agencies uh, in town. The compliance cost is also being reduced because that is one thing that is very key in taxation. We had the compliance cost is very high. People will not pay tax. If it takes you about the 2,000 naira to pay a tax of about 3,000, it's better. You say, okay, I'm not ready to forfeit 2,000 because I want to give you 3,000. But where the compliance cost is being reduced considerably to a level that uh, you can easily afford it. So definitely, we are looking at this in Lagos where our compliance cost will not be probably more than 5%. That is, whatever you want to pay, you should not spend more than 5% to pay whatever you want to pay in form of a, a, I mean, as a tax in Lagos State. In 2019, LIRS took a giant leap forward by embracing digital solutions. The introduction of an online tax portal and automated systems have reduced processing times by over 80%. This technology-driven approach has been a game changer. Formal registration between January and December 2023 stood at 2,914,614, while informal registration stood at 2,383 within the same period. We introduced a lot of technology in LRS, and this technology assisted us greatly. For instance, we have the use of a, the introduction of an e-tax. We have a platform known as the e-tax platform now. Through this e-tax, we can do so many things. A taxpayer can do so many things on the uh, e-tax. Then uh, we also have another one known as the e-filing. We introduce e-filing that if you want to file your tax returns, either in January as an employer of labor or between January and March as an individual, you don't need to go to the tax office. Just stay in your house and with your computer or with your electronic device, you file your, you file your tax returns. Another thing that has just been introduced, we call it the, the paper certificate, paper TCC. So you pay your tax, everything has been satisfied to be okay. You can now go into the system and generate your uh, tax certificate. Generate your tax certificate, this is uh, your paper tax certificate. These are things that are really working and working well for us. And again, we have our... Uh, we have a unit that is in charge of compliance, you know, and uh, these people will ensure that uh, people comply with uh, the tax laws and regulations, and as a result of that, we have a lot of people being brought into the tax net. With um, compliance with their tax law and regulation, the businesses and businessmen and business enterprises in the, in the state will be the most beneficial because for their business to thrive, they need facilities. They need a conducive environment. They need a friendly environment to, you know, to prosper their businesses. So for that reason, the more taxes paid and the proper utilization of those taxes will create more benefit for the business centers. The result of these reforms speak for themselves. Lagos State now contributes over 70% of Nigeria's total tax revenue a testament to the effectiveness of a tax administration system. This steady rise in revenue has allowed the state to fund critical infrastructure and social programs, driving economic growth and development. There is no way the government will be able to sustain its program without revenue. If that is so, then the government itself must make sure of facilities, must make sure infrastructure, that they allow those businesses to thrive. Once they thrive, the more profit they get, the more income they get, the more taxes come to government. And because of what the government is doing with the revenue being generated, provision of social amenities, social services, and so on. So a lot of people love what is going on in Lagos State and uh, they are ready to align with what we are doing in LRS. So that uh, they themselves want to say, okay, I am part of this thing that is going on. And, it has been assisting us very greatly. Despite these successes, Lagos State's journey hasn't been without challenges. 
issues such as tax avoidance, evasion, and resistance from some taxpayers have posed significant hurdles. However, with continuous improvement, stakeholder engagement, and a commitment to leveraging technology, Lagos is poised to build on its successes and lead Nigeria into a new era of tax administration. be glad to inform taxpayers that this reform is not only for the benefit of government, it's also for the benefit of taxpayers. And going forward is to ensure that the tax administration and the tax system, which itself will command voluntary compliance, will ensure the citizen and the taxpayers to pay the taxes with ease, part of which we are already experiencing in Lagos that is being automated, that now you can sit in the comfort of your office, on your room, on your house, where you can comply with tax returns. You can do returns with assessment and even payment online without having to, you know, have a travel mile to go to the offices of the tax authority. So it should be for the benefit of the taxpayers. We have seen the importance of uh, tax reforms in our revenue collection program, and uh, we keep emphasizing that, okay, reform should be a continuous exercise. It should be a continuous exercise. Uh, that is what I will call the modernization of reforms. You see, a good government will look at what is happening in the country or in the system, and then use the tax laws, you see, to uh, meet the needs of uh, the people. Tinker with the tax laws to meet with the needs of uh, the people. Then uh, when you look at uh, Lagos State recently, there's something we call Lagos Revenue Portal, which has just been launched. It was launched recently. And there's a portal that will assist people that want to pay their non-revenue taxes. Like I mean, assuming that uh, you want to pay for land use charge or you want to pay for uh, business renewal fees and so on, you can use this portal. You see, through this portal, you can make your payment in a very seamless manner. So it is a way of making sure that uh, the reforms are being modernized. You don't need to go to the tax office that before you get your tax certificate. It's a matter of just make all your necessary payments. Then uh, once the thing gets to the system, and the person who is going to approve your payment will approve it. Once it is approved, you can print your tax certificate in your house with the aid of your printer and your, uh, probably your laptop. So you can print your uh, tax certificate once it has been approved by the approving uh, authority. So these are modern ways or these are ways by which we are twinkling with uh, the tax reforms and it is assisting us very, very uh, greatly. The Lagos State experience in tax reforms has shown that effective tax reforms can drive economic growth and development. Having become a model of success for other states across Nigeria, the lessons here will serve as a powerful blueprint for the future of tax administration in the country. Tax reforms. What is in it for taxpayers? That's what the big story today explored. We take a short break for now. We have more lined up for you when the show resumes. Stay with us. Hi, everyone. I am Dr. And Mrs. Claudia Naibijoke Sonwolu, the First Lady of Lagos State. My way of combating sexual and gender based violence is through advocacy works, going to schools and sensitizing them on issues concerning sexual and gender based violence. Also, having engagements with stakeholders that are very strong on the issue of sexual and gender-based violence, donation of utility vehicles to aid assistance when they want to take survivors for further investigation, and also engaging them to ensure that they have a proper and robust legal service. This September, I will commemorate the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Awareness Month. I urge everyone to join hands with me for us to move away from just slogans to action to fight this menace against sexual and gender-based violence. SGBV, not on my watch, not in my Lagos. If you're just tuning in, 
I'm afraid you've missed a major part of today's show. Please be here earlier next week so you can catch the entire episode. However, the full episode will be uploaded to our YouTube channel and check it out there. You will also find snippets of the show on our social media handles. The Lagos State Internal Revenue Service also puts up snippets on its handles too. There's no reason for you not to have the information at your fingertips. The next segment coming up is what we call Tax Didits. From now on, all retirees of Lagos State Government will be paid as they retire. Today, I'm pleased to announce that over 2,000 retirees will be receiving their bond certificates totaling 4 billion 461 million 659,536.8 We are bold here to say and to announce that no state have achieved this feat that we are achieving here today. Are you ready to take a journey to the streets of Lagos with our correspondent? Streets of Lagos, here we come, the voice on the streets. Welcome to another exciting episode on Voice on the Streets, guys. My name is Chibuzo, your favorite minister on the streets. So today we're going to be sampling people's opinion on the streets. Don't go anywhere. Join me. Yeah, I, I see the impact because I, I see the road they are doing and the construction, at, le at least they are trying. I, I, I see the impact. No, 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 they still go slow. There's, you know, all this go slow is the major problem Lagos is having. Definitely. Definitely. Mm, yes, I see. Yes, because they've been using the tax money to do a lot of things in Lagos as far as I'm concerned. Yes, yes. There is impact because the money people are paying for tax is being used to maintain Lagos. You can see now, the streets are clean. So many things are done. You know, it's making the citizens have good amenities and live comfort life. Yes, 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 yes. I'm seeing it, the roads and all that. Yeah. Well, then maybe the road <laughs> and other social amenities. I guess. Mm. Ah, I shall they try. Lagos. Oh uh, yeah, relatively, relatively. Uh, it depends in some uh, aspects, in some parts, in some parts. Yes, actually, yes, definitely. What an exciting opinion from the people, guys. I still remain your favorite minister, Chibuzo. Stay tuned, guys. It seems that's how far we can go on this week's episode. Next week, we tackle another interesting subject as we continue to educate you on all matters relating to tax in the state of excellence. My name is Oin Lala Saleh. Please join me next week for another interesting episode of the Tax Talk. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>